Well, if there's one good thing about finally seeing this film is that I never have to watch the trailers for it ever again. Hello once again watchers of good movies, my name is Nick Paul and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today we are going to be talking about the film Why Him. The general premise of this film is that we have Brian Cranston, his company is going out of business to an extent they're very largely in debt and he is going off to meet the boyfriend of his daughter and ends up being James Franco. He ends up being this very, very honest to a fault person who just has no filter whatsoever and he's just kind of like the worst person that you would want your daughter dating essentially and he has to spend the weekend or at least le the days leading up to Christmas with this guy um, and his daughter and his family um, and it's basically them trying to come to terms with each other and James Franco trying to slowly win over Brian Cranston's character to ask his daughter played by Zoe Dutch to marry him. Now I did think that the chemistry between all the main actors was very good in this film. I really enjoyed seeing the the duality between Brian Cranston and James Franco because I thought that when they were going head to head it worked really really nicely especially when you just got Brian Cranston just stone hard uh, not wanting to accept this guy whatsoever. His daughter is the only person who can really soften him up to it, the guy. I also thought that Zoe Dutch and James Franco had good chemistry as this couple. Um, I did find it a little bit ridiculous that she was so accepting of all these ridiculous qualities and traits that this guy has in regards to having no filter and just going into these elaborately sexual stories in front of her family. It's just like you don't do that, that would be a huge deal breaker for about 90% of people, I would think. And as this is a comedy, it does need to have a good amount of laughter in it, and at least a lot of good jokes, and it does have that to an extent. I did find myself laughing multiple times throughout the film, so I do have to give it credit for that. I did not think it was the funniest film in the world, though, and I was not looking forward to seeing this thing, and it pretty much met that expectation. There is a lot of cringeworthy moments in this film. Um, it's just not my sense of humor, but I just found a lot of moments just either really, really predictable in regards to how they're going to play out, or they're just overtly ridiculous and overtly sexual for the sake of being that and trying to get a crack out of the audience. It just didn't really work that well for me personally. I just found myself just not really caring that much when the jokes were popping up, or for the most part. The ending to the film, while it worked fine for what the film was, it didn't really feel that earned because um, leading into the ending, um, the the main characters are in one state of mind and then once something happens they're just saying, oh hey, we're good because happy endings have to happen for this film. So it just didn't really feel that earned to me um, and just seemed, felt like a really unnecessary 180 that one of the characters does take. And so that just was something which annoyed me about the film. You guys, why him? It's not that good. I was not expecting it to be good, and it's not one that surprised me in any way. Uh, a lot of cringeworthy moments. Does have some genuine laughter to it. Really good chemistry between the main actors of this film. But it, it wasn't anything really that special. I'm probably never going to watch this thing again unless I have a group of friends or somebody who wants to see it for some reason. You guys, those are my thoughts on why him. Definitely don't check it out if you're not interested in it. And it's past the holidays, so you really have no reason to at this point anyway. Unless you're a huge fan of James Franco and Brian Cranston, then maybe check it out. But otherwise, it's not really worth your time. But guys, those are my thoughts on why him. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like it as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell, and once again, keep on watching.